Good morning! This is going to be a short video on whirlpools. Now, you may be asking yourself, how is a whirlpool formed? Well, according to our textbook, Essentials of Oceanography, a whirlpool, a rapidly spinning body of water which is also termed a vortex, can be created in some restricted coastal passages due to reversing tidal currents. Basically, what happens is that two large bodies of water converge in one area, like the one pictured. As the water from the two move through this area, their differing heights cause them to move vigorously through the passage. And as it moves through, it's also affected by the shallow ocean floor's shape, which causes turbulence, and along with opposing tidal currents, creates whirlpools. The biggest whirlpools aren't even called whirlpools. They go by a different name, maelstroms. I'm just going to quickly now list the five biggest whirlpools in the world. The strongest maelstrom in the world is the Saltstraumen in Norway. With currents reaching speeds of 25 miles per hour, it has the strongest tidal currents on the planet. The biggest one is in our own backyard. The Old Sal Maelstrom is in Maine, and can reach diameters of up to 250 feet. Other big ones are the Naruto Whirlpools in Japan, and the Korovetkin in Scotland. While these may be the biggest and strongest, the most famous one is the Muskstraumen in Norway, which is better known simply as the Maelstrom. Both fictional and non-fictional stories about this Maelstrom have been going around for about 1500 years. This Maelstrom was the focus of such tales as Edgar Allan Poe's A Descent Into the Maelstrom, Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, and Herman Melville mentioned it in his book Moby Dick. This is where whirlpools got their fearsome reputation, since the authors exaggerated their power greatly for a bigger effect. And of course, Hollywood got in on the action as well. In the movie Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, there's a fight in a gigantic maelstrom at the end of the movie. Because of these sorts of portrayals, this is the type of image that comes to mind when thinking of whirlpools, but in reality, they aren't nearly as massive or destructive. They could take a human down to the depths, but not a ship. In reality, they look a lot like this. Small and unmenacing.